Unknown Entities, a series where we dive into the unknown entities in the world of the military, law enforcement, and government. These entities are typically underpublicized, under the radar, or just aren't known by many. So we go as deep as possible to find you the information. Chances are, you've probably never heard of what we're going to talk about in this video today. So let this unknown voice tell you about this unknown entity. DOE Federal Protective Forces Yes, even the Department of Energy has some high-speed stuff to it. The Federal Protective Forces, also known as the FPF, is a paramilitary entity of the Department of Energy responsible for protecting Category 1 special nuclear material. What is that, you ask? It's strategic nuclear material, such as uranium-233, 235, and plutonium-239. But we're not nuclear physicists here at General Discharge. We're going to cover what the Federal Protective Forces is, what it does, their training, and much more. Oh, and before we continue, please consider subscribing, as 84% of our viewers aren't subscribed. It would be greatly appreciated. While the Department of Energy is the head honcho for this unit, it actually breaks down into the National Nuclear Security Administration and then into Defense Nuclear Security, where the Federal Protective Forces is. The FPF may be officially classified as security police, but it holds limited law enforcement capabilities. They are granted limited arrest authority, able to make probable cause arrests while on duty in regards to federal crimes related to nuclear material and government property. Because of the nature of what an adversary may look like and be capable of, considering the fact that they'd be attempting to steal nuclear assets from the federal government of the United States, the FPF needs to be highly trained always at the ready and prepared to fight. It has multiple areas of deterrence, from using protective force, physical security, information security, material control and accountability, personnel security, and security program operations and planning. All of these integrate the resources at the FPF's disposal to protect against theft, sabotage, diversion, and other criminal acts. So where does the FPF operate? Since they guard nuclear material, they guard wherever it is. Currently, there are eight Department of Energy facilities the FPF operates in. Hanford Site, Idaho National Laboratory, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, Los Alamos National Laboratory, Nevada Test Site, Pantex Plant, Savannah River Site, and the Y-12 National Security Complex. Since people aren't attempting to steal nuclear assets from the U.S. on the regular, the FPF has to train for these scenarios in-house. How do they do that? by means of CATs. No, no, not those CATs. Composite adversary teams. These teams pro protective forces secured sites to identify weaknesses and test the preparedness of the FPF. They pull from other FPF forces, and their main job for their rotation on a CAT is to pretty much try to penetrate and defeat their colleagues as if they were truly the enemy. This is a really smart tactic, as it gives the operators a chance to think like the enemy and prepare them for scenarios they may have never even thought of. So, what's the training like for this entity? What about how you get into it? The FPF is designed to operate in combat environments. They are trained at the Department of Energy's National Training Center in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and also receive some specialized training at Y-12. Members receive a wide variety of training in security, firearms, small unit tactics, DOE directives, explosives, and much more. There's some opportunities for FPF members to get into crisis negotiation, become armorers, investigators, and law enforcement specialists. Okay, what about getting into it? While this is all under the Department of Energy, the Federal Protective Forces are recruited and employed by private companies. There's no academy or organic way of joining these forces like you would if you were joining the FBI. So there you go. You most likely learned something new today. The DOE Federal Protective Forces are an elite, highly trained unit that many people don't know about except you now. If you enjoyed this unknown entity's video, you're in luck. We've done a couple of these before. Did you know NASA has SWAT teams? Or how that the IRS has its own special agents? You should definitely go check those videos out if you haven't already. Well, that's episode 3 of Unknown Entities in the Books. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what else you'd like us to cover in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. 
Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge, and you don't even want to be here.